goes and welcome to my youtube space where we learn everything design if this is your first time on this channel make sure you subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit that notification button so that you get notified anytime we post a video once again i welcome you to your first ever youtube video on this channel with a voiceover as a popular request so let's get into the video so today we are going to learn about cinema 4d test materials and lightning system so we are going to start off with our 3d test and then we are going to go to more graph and then we are going to choose more test and then normally the test is not centered and it is on the right so to change that format you come down here to alignment and then you choose center to put your test in the center to rotate you hold alt and then you click and drag to rotate around the cinema 4d and then you can use the navigation buttons at the top here to also navigate your way around it you can use this one to move this one to zoom in and zoom out and this one to rotate so that is it so today we are going to work on a test that we are going to call pay as you go so we are going to move the test a little bit upwards down upwards down this is to ensure that our test is not right on the background all right so we'll, we'll change the default writings of our test in this test area box so we are writing p And then beneath here we are going to choose a font for it, a font style for it. We are going to use a font style called Popcore to so pay. Okay. Pay. And then we are going to hit the T key on the keyboard to bring out our skill. So you click and drag outside of the test to scale in and then you click and drag out to scale out so we scale in a bit a bit we can as well reduce the letter spacing so Z. okay so horizontal spacing and this one is a vertical spacing so we reduce it a bit so let's see for 16 And then we'll increase the extrusion. Yeah, so you see depth, and then we can increase it to about 30. I think it's fine. Yeah. And then we are going to make the edges very fine and not too sharp. So we'll go to caps, and then under caps we have start and we have end the start is the front view and the end is the back view of the test we are going to click on cap and then we are going to choose fillet cap to give us the edge that we are looking for and we are going to increase the steps to thin to make it not sharp that too flat going to be very nice and very curvy to 10 and you can see that it is now very curvy and the radius is three so let's make it three three we are going to apply the same format to the end let me rotate it so that you see what is happening here too so right now we have our test ready and we want to create another one so that we can reduce 
the uh, the, the sh- cap around it and it will bring it a bit forward to give us the effect that we are looking for. So, you, you hold control, click and drag and leave to make a duplicate of it. So this time around, we are going to make it the radius one and we are going to make the test we are going to leave it as 10 the steps 10 so that at least we have a smooth edge as we had so let's make it one also hold and then we are going to hit the e key on the keyboard to bring out the move tool to activate the move tool and then we are going to hold and then drag out a bit so you can see that The cap of the first one is a bit bigger than the, f- the second one of which we just did. But it looks too small, so let's go into the second one, the first one, and increase the cap a bit. So let's make it about 5. Okay, let's make it also 10. Very nice. 10. We are going to also move that a bit backwards. Okay, so right now we have the effect that we are looking for. So since we are looking for this same effect for the other test, we are writing pay as you go. You just have to group these ones onto Alt G to group it. Click hold control and click and drag. You leave to make a duplicate of it and then we'll bring it down to make a duplicate of it. So let's open it. And then right away we can make the changes from the test post. want it a bit smaller so we we'll, we we'll click on the test the T for the test and now B for the move to move it a bit this one to work duplicate it once more so we hold control click and hold and drag release and we have a duplicate then we are going to also move that one and then we are going to write as so, as for the scale too and then we are going to scale it down E for the move too we are going to bring it a bit up we can scroll to also zoom okay a bit a bit down E C And then we are going to duplicate it once more. So we'll control, click and drag, leave. And then we are going to select the test in it. And then we are going to make the changes. So this time around we are writing U. Click outside of the text box to have your effect. So we're going to position it 
as we want. Let's position it. So we have pay as you go. Once you are satisfied with what you have, you are going to reset your camera and how to you find it in your camera options. This so you click and hold for the camera options and you select the first one camera. So you position it and you set it to your favorite. And then we see there is a little icon here, so you click it. Okay, so you click it to activate the camera and then you position it for it to copy what you have, the position you want. So right now, let's do that. So once you deactivate it, it will go back to its normal position and once you activate it, it will give you the view that you set. So at this point we are going to add our, our materials and our lighting. And we are going to use Cinema 4D Studio Light and Material so you can get that from Google so when you go to Google or any search engine you can type download Cinema 4D Studio Light and it comes with a material so if I've already downloaded it and I'm going to import it and you can import it by clicking on using merge to merge the studio light and the material with the work that you are currently working in when you click on open, it's going to open a new document, a new working space. So you have to use the merge to merge it. Okay. So this is our Cinema 4D Studio Light and Material. So you click, you select, you select, you select one, you open, close to have this is the studio light and then you select again for the material you merge again for the material and there we go you have your materials so we are going to first of all positioning the studio light well. So we are going to deselect our camera so that we can have a flare of whatever that we want to do. Okay. So the studio light comes with an overhead soft box. So let's position that one. Okay. It comes with a floor and a background. And with this tutorial, we are not going to need the floor and the background. So we are going to take it off by clicking this small icon by it. And it has a soft box too, it comes with a soft box. So we are going to position that one too. Okay. Okay, so since the soft box, so let's see if it's not interacting with our camera. Very nice. So you can see clearly that the 
lighten is at one part of the chest and the other part is dark so we are going to add a, a light ourselves an external light which is not part of the cinema for the studio light so we are going to go to light click and hold for the options and then we are going to choose area light and then you can see that we have our area light so we are going to deselect our camera and position our area light Let's hit R for rotation and rotate it a bit. Okay, and I think we are good to go. So let's activate our camera and we are going to apply our materials to it. So um, I would love to use green. So you can choose any material you want. So you click and then you hover over the test you want to, the, to have the effect on and then you leave it. have your material on it so we are going to do same for the rest of the test Okay, I think we are good to go. So thank you very much for staying with me up to this point. I really appreciate your time. If you want to see my render settings, how I render my test or anything in Cinema 4D, you can wait and I will give you the video for that in the next video that I'm going to upload. I'm going to give you a tutorial in that, with that, with the next video I'm going to upload. Thank you very much and see you in the next one. Bye.